Man, the world is a fucked up place right now, ain't it? I mean, every time you turn on the news, something more fucked up occurred today than it did yesterday, and it just seems like shit is getting worse every day. I mean, even the YouTube order is like, damn, this world is more fucked up than I am. <laughs> so naturally, people want to ask me questions. God damn, man, from Russian global interference in the world politics to natural disasters like hurricanes and wildfires to man-made disasters like our Russian ambassador who calls himself President Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking piece of shit. To the fucking deranged asshole killing people in Las Vegas. Spain had a secession vote recently. NFL players are protesting. White supremacists feel emboldened by current politics. You got corruption in college sports. Hollywood's open secret of sexual harassment finally being addressed and becoming public. Seriously, what the fuck is going on? I don't have answers to all these problems, but I damn sure do have some opinions. So, that's where you guys come in. I'm opening up the inbox again to take all your questions and once again we're gonna make a little bit of sense of what's been going on lately in this world. On top of world politics, video gaming has had a year of ups and downs which I'm sure people will ask about. You know, you've had hits like Horizon Zero Dawn that surprised people while Nintendo has knocked it out of the park this year. I mean their two main franchises, Mario and Zelda, are basically fighting each other for Game of the Year honors. Assassin's Creed finally took some time off, they got their shit together, and the reviews have stated that Origins has been an improvement of what was otherwise in stale franchise. Player Unknown Battleground, Fortnite have become hits with gamers. Meanwhile, the most advertised franchise, Destiny 2, launched with decent reviews, but this time it fell flat with its own players and its community. We still have Call of Duty, Star Wars on the way, and Xbox One X's stupid ass name. <laughs> Ah, uh, but you know what? We'll see if that powerful console from Microsoft actually shows that they made a right decision in making that console. On top of that, they finally dropped Kinect, which was a really smart decision to do. So, usual rules apply when sending me your shit. One question only. If I get a question that has multiple parts, that's fine as long as it's all related. So if you have a couple pieces that are related to the main topic, that's cool because obviously you might have a complex question. But you can't go asking me shit about Russia, the NFL, Need for Speed, and fucking Care Bears in the same goddamn sentence. <laughs> nah, 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 motherfucker, that doesn't work. Keep the shit in the same family, then I'll be able to answer all multiple parts. There are two places you guys can send me your questions. First is right here on YouTube with this private messaging system. Or you go over to Prestige Gamers where you can find me there. Send me a private message to my inbox as well. As you know, it takes me a little while to collect all your posts. And then I come up with a decent answer that you guys want to hear. So you got to figure two or three weeks. Then I'll have the answers coming out for all your guys' questions. Either way... Don't send your questions in the comment section here because I don't return to the video to collect them. I like them in inboxes. That way they're much easier to find and screen cap for future videos. I can't go to multiple places to collect questions. So you want to make sure that you're sending them to those two inboxes. Then I'll be able to add them to the future video. One of the things that I have a feeling people are going to ask me is whether or not I plan on doing the raid with subscribers and first timers again. And you know what? Chances are... I might. It won't be this weekend because I do have plans, but it could be down the road again at some time when I do have free time. This past weekend, I had a chance for two runs on Saturday with first-timers, and you know what? In all honesty, it went pretty well. I had some friends that actually helped me with the first-timers, so we were able to get through some sections that were a little difficult, but it got enough people through that motherfucker, and they got to see just how frustrating raids can actually be. There were some growing pains involved, poor tiny violins. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he could not get his shit straight on the gauntlets, which led to a number of wipes, but you know what? Eventually we got through that shit. Iris didn't get his chance to raid with us this weekend, but ultimately we got as many people as we possibly could who were available through the raid. Now, in the future, I'll probably help some more people out, but essentially I do need a free weekend to dedicate a couple hours. Each one of those runs took three hours, so that gives you an idea of the time commitment it took just to make one run possible. So if you're thinking about the prestige raid, Forget it. <laughs> oh, hell no. That raid right now is not meant for people who haven't been raiding since the game launched. It's not easy. As a matter of fact, it's incredibly punishing because of the number of mechanical and flow problems it actually has. Just to give you an example, the Royal Bats alone, the pool section, is fucking ridiculous. Mainly because the game wants you to stand out in the open with almost no cover fighting enemies that can fire grenades at you from behind cover that's right so i get no cover but the enemies can hide behind cover the whole time and fire the most accurate shots possible while i have to stand on this stupid fucking plate with absolutely no cover it's fucking bullshit 
Then on top of that, you're gonna get a large motherfucker with tons of health spawn five feet in front of you? Come on, man. Mechanically speaking, the prestige raid and all the new mechanics are just absolutely cruel to people who have not been raiding. To me, it's fine. I can get through those things. But I've been raiding since the first week and I raid every single week, three times in a row. For people who haven't been doing that, that would be an absolute shock to try and do the prestige raid after maybe like two or three attempts at the normal raid. So I will continue in the future to pull first timers through the normal raid, but prestige raid, hell fucking no. You have to know what you're doing in order to get past that motherfucker without all the glitches. So with all that being said, you guys know what to do. Send me your questions to both of the inboxes. You can send it to YouTube or you can send it over to Prestige Gamers. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll have your answers for you in about two or three weeks whenever I get the time to collect all these shits. Like, no, turn around. <laughs>